there are good schools, making sure there are safe roads, making certain that your children and grandchildren have the opportunity to call Alabama home. Those are things that are just not in the Democratic Party. We all embody those things. And so that when we talk about the opportunity to have a debate with Governor Ivey, this is not about me or Governor Ivey, it's about the future of Alabama. These issues are too important to have Alabama again remain silent. To the ladies and gentlemen in this room, make no mistake about it, if we talk about the issues and we talk about the policies, we are on the right side of history and we are going to win on November 6th. Y'all got me fired up. I'm ready to go knock on some doors and put up some signs, ask you for some money, um, everything that it takes. But let me close with this. Some of you may know this. I played football at UAB, just up the road. Go Blazers. Isn't that right, Karen? You know, my dad always told me I would play football at Legion Field. I just had no idea it'd be for UAB. <laughs> but I'm very thankful that I had that opportunity in my life because UAB gave me an opportunity to shape myself, to learn discipline, to understand what it takes to, to succeed when it really gets going hard. But there was a time where I learned actually from failure. My senior year, we were playing Jacksonville State at Legion Field, and it was pouring down rain. And Jacksonville State has always had a great Division I AA team, and we thought we were pretty good ourselves. And it was late in the fourth quarter, I believe, going off memory, we were up by three or four points. And it was just a few minutes left, and for some reason, I was still in the game. Somebody must have been injured. <laughs> and it was fourth down and four, and if we stop Jacksonville State on this particular play, we win the football game. And we beat a rival, and everyone's just going to have a great Saturday and a great week. Well, Coach called in, Coach Hilliard uh, called in a play, and Wayne White, the linebacker, and I thought, well, that really wasn't a good play. Because um, we knew what they were going to run, and so we called our own little variation off that play. Well, J.J. Pruitt, y'all know who J.J. Pruitt is? Box six, morning, one of the morning anchors? Well, he was the running back for Jacksonville State, and after the ball was snapped, he ran 54 yards for a touchdown. <laughs> I remember seeing J.J. from behind, just seeing his number running down the field. It's pouring down rain. I come off the sideline. Coach Hilliard's yelling, what happened? He wasn't saying what happened. I'm just saying, <laughs> what happened? What happened? What happened? You know, in Legion Field, we didn't have a lot of fans then, so it just echoed everywhere. You know? <laughs> so when Coach was cussing you out, your parents could hear you up in the stands. I mean, it was really embarrassing. And I was like, I don't know. What <laughs> the next Monday, we come into film session, and we don't start on play one. Coach Hilliard starts on that play. And I am just sitting there, and he keeps mumbling back and forth, just rewinding and playing, rewinding and playing. He keeps saying, how can we win if we don't play as a team? How can we win if we don't play as a team? I've learned that anything in my life that I've been able to be part of success has come because of a team member. Because my parents sold their home when I was in college so I could stay in school. So my wife would support me as I run for governor of the state of Alabama. And so that all of you have supported our campaign when we were just that mayor that no one gave a chance in the primary to today, people are now beginning to believe that we are going to win. And when we are a team as Democrats, we cannot lose. So on November 6th, we are a team and let's go win this. Thank you and God bless you. Let's go win this.